So now the next thing we're gonna code is the send button. Pretty cool here. So we double tap, and now we're gonna set it up so we can send emails directly from this system. I'm gonna start with some error handling to make sure it, if it runs into an error, it doesn't break, go to error handling. So you're also gonna learn some quick error handling here. On error, go to error handle. So it's always good to incorporate some error handling in case of the coding breaking down, running into an error. So that's what we're gonna do here. So we're gonna write error handler here and write message box error and error dot description comma vb critical. Then we're gonna do lpl status dot caption equal error sending email lbl status dot for color equal vb red so basically change the color to red if the code runs into an error and then we're going to do lbl status visible equal true and put this at the end of the code and what it basically does is it runs into an error it comes up with a message box error and a description what's the error and change the label the caption to error sending email and change the color to red and make the label visible this label so it's going to change this label to the error we just made here the error message error sending email and then we're going to put the text in between here all right let's test the error Try to click send here, and it says error. Error object required, and there's a debug. And I've figured out we are referring to LBL status. Let's debug this. And that's missing an L here, which reminds me always test alongside your coding project like do small steps at a time because we found this mistake that there was a missing an L here, which is good. We covered that. So now I want to click send here. It makes an error and it changed the text to error sending email and changed the color to red. So now the error message work. Then we're going to write actually sending code between these two, like the error on error go to error handler and here between these two, because in case there's no error, we need it to send emails we're gonna dim outlook app as object let's change this for big here then we're gonna dim outlook mail as object and dim file arrow a string and the is one. Now we're gonna validate the required fields to make sure every field that needs to be sent to make sure everything is correct entered. So if txt two text the text equal blank or txt subject line dot text equal blank or txt body dot text equal blank then we need a message box and access up and end if let's do the access up here in if and then we're going to write a message box here Message box, uh, please fill in two subject and message. Do a VB exclamation. So let's try that also. 
Please fill in two subject and message. And it doesn't go to the error handling because it didn't, didn't find an error. You just got to this if statement and then exit so. Then we're gonna set Outlook app equal create object and do a Outlook dot application. And set Outlook mail equal Outlook app dot create item and set that equal zero. Set it to zero. And then we're gonna do a with Outlook mail. We're gonna set two equal txt two dot text then we're gonna set tc equal txt cc dot text actually let's just copy paste this so bbc subject line body so the next one, BBC. Subject. And body. So now we need to handle multiple attachments. And we're going to do that with if txt attachment dot text is not blank. Then we need to file error equal split txt attachment dot text vb control f and we're going to do a for i equal l bound file r to U bond file R. Then we're going to do a if there file R I is not equal blank, then we need dot dot attachments dot add file r dot i and i as the object then we're going to do an end if next i and end if and then we're going to do the email sent dot display so this if you want to send the email directly, you're going to change that to dot send. But I'm not going to do that because I don't want to send emails to fake email addresses. But this is what you're going to do. You're going to change this dot display to dot send instead. And then we're going to do end with. And that's the with here we have up here. Then we're going to call lock email details. A sub module we haven't coded yet. I'm just gonna comment this out so we don't forget. Call lock email details. So we need to code that afterwards. Then we're gonna do the LBL status caption 
email sent. And we're going to do the LBL status for color RGB 0, 150, 0. I'm missing a comma here. Then we're going to do LBL status dot visible equal true. So this label pops up when we send it. And then we're going to call another module we haven't coded yet. Call PTN reset. Click. That's basically the next module we're going to code. Exit, stop here, and then we have the error handling that we coded. All right, let's do a quick test here to see if it works. We can get emails here, but we haven't coded this form yet. So let's just write test at mail.com. Let's just put it all three. The subject line test, message text. Attachment, the monthly report, and sent. So it works 